three, cut. The newly completed station that you have before you today is about 10,850 square feet in size and filled up every bit of usable space on this one and a half acre property. It is now uh, the second largest fire station in all of Pasco County, eclipsing uh, Station 13. So I know we just opened up Station 13 a couple months ago. This is now replaces that as the second largest. It does have four drive-through bays, which will accommodate up to eight pieces of fire apparatus when placed front to back. Today, we are currently operating a paramedic engine crew and an EMS supervisor out of the facility. And come December, we will house a paramedic ambulance as well. Where this, where this particular station is physically located is almost perfectly equidistant between three of our other surrounding stations. So if you had to pick a place on a map to put a fire station, this is exactly where you would put it. This station itself will help the response time to give better safety and emergency help and fire help in this community and strengthen the fire services for the entire county. This particular station is also the first to receive some brand new technological and safety improvements as well. Uh, this, some of these items include the state-of-the-art station alerting system that is designed to be faster, more reliable, and far less obtrusive than the system that's currently replacing. The station also includes an advanced air system designed to scrub the air before it enters the building, along with a vehicle exhaust extraction system that will help eliminate cancer-causing diesel exhaust from entering the breathable airspace. And lastly, very noted behind me, bifold apparatus doors, which open in a fraction of the time as the traditional roll-up overhead doors, as well as provides for lower maintenance and overall improved resiliency. As you can see, we're very excited and we're very proud and honored to provide service out of this modern facility that will serve the area for many years to come.